everyone. Welcome to the welltraveled.com Beater Garten. I am your host, Hamp Tanner, and as usual, on my right, Ed Hall. Thank you. And as also usual, on my left, in a bright yellow shirt with some sort of Star Trek emblem on it, is the new guy. <laughs> And behind the camera, on the wheels of steel, is Brewmaster Sarah. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> on today's show, we will be reviewing the star of our program, the Wolliver's Pale Ale, which is from the uh, Otter Creek Brewing Company in Middlebury, Vermont. So we're going up to the northeast for our beer choice today. And I will be telling you about this beer while one of these fine gentlemen does the pleasure of pouring. And uh, and here we go. What we know about the <laughs> Wallivers Pale Ale. That package. This is, is for, yeah, it's a very it's plain package. Very plain, Looks like it was made in clip art. Yeah. Looks like this came off of a bubble jet printer. <laughs> it's certified organic, first of all. Yeah, so it's what perforated. Perforated? Perforated. Yeah, these labels are perf. You can't say perf without <laughs> messing me up. <laughs> that label's perforated. All right. Uh, we have 141 reviews over at beeradvocate.com. The douchers gave this beer a B, and the bros gave it a B plus. That was the young, the young Shankin. This beer has a 5.8% alcohol by volume, and uh, it's in the style of an American pale ale. Um, just going to tell you real briefly what to expect in this beer based on the reviews I read. Bitter hops balanced by a bready sweetness with a great malt backbone. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, before I move into my cap, tip of the cap for this program is to my longtime good friend, Rob Fryer. I don't know if he's Commander Rob Fryer or Captain Rob Fryer or Captain Select Rob Fryer or Maybe he's still stuck at Lieutenant Commander. I, I can't keep it up. I think it's Commander. If he's such a good friend, how come you don't know? Because he's been in and out of the military like a freaking revolving door. Bounced in and out? No, for, for the most part, it's been voluntary. But mm. every time he leaves, the Navy pulls him back in, you know, needs of the Navy. He's a he's a pilot. He's flying rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong, last I heard. You got a fat boy <laughs> discharge, didn't you? I ate my way right out of the <laughs> So, um, Rob Fryer in Atlanta, Georgia, Delta pilot, Navy Reserve pilot, uh, allegedly coming to Amelia Island this summer with the wife and kids, and we will make sure certain that he's a guest on this show, because I know that he's had a few beers in his day. Rob, tip of the cap, sir. Not bad. Very high-pitched. Yeah. Yours is Very always high-pitched. I don't know why. Okay, that's it. Now comes the best part of the whole show. We drink the beer. What did the bros give it? Bros gave it a B plus. Producers? B, let me see, B minus or a B? You're supposed to be listening when I say that no, stuff. I fell asleep. That's all right. <laughs> it's a B. Okay. It's a okay. regular regulation B. Hmm, smells like beer. Yep. Balls. Balls. Yeah. All right. What I'm checking out here. See, I've got, you know, the, the sun coming into the beer garden from that direction. And this beer is a little cloudy, but not very cloudy. You can see through it pretty well. And you can see little tiny bubbles. All right. Now what I'm doing on that. Coming up. Carbonation from the bottom. Is the paper recycled? Clearly. <clears throat> and that yeah, bottle is recycled. It's recycled from a Dos Equis bottle. <laughs> I'd like to see the certification on this. It's so right there. USDA organic. You know how much I'm against that. Mm. Organic. You can taste yeah. that organic mm. freshness of the, the dirt mm. and the uh, couple June bug layers. Mm. Mm. There's antenna in mine. <laughs> yeah. It loses some of its pesticide freshness. That's weird. To the scoring. 